Well, hello guys, it's Chris, your YouTube daddy here. Well, I'm gonna go and have some dinner. So I decided, I fancied, I was gonna go up to uh, Abington Street Barbecue, and then I drove past Revo Chippy. Well, Chippo, Chippy at Revo. I can't remember the name of it. And then I suddenly decided, no, I fancy chips. And I'd not done a food review with Revo Chippy, so I thought, Let's go and do a few review of Revo Chippy. So I'll take you to where it is, so you know where it is. I'm just coming uh, onto Central Drive now. I've just come off Livingston Road and uh, and then just coming down onto Central Drive now. Now I'm heading towards Revo. So it's, it's literally just up here around the corner. Now, like normal, this is a, what are they doing? Look at the state of them. I haven't got a clue where they are, have they? Uh, I forgot what I was saying then, got put off them. Right, it's just around the corner and I'll show you exactly where we're going. Now, I know it's in Revo area, which is a location in Blackpool. And it's, a, I, I remember what I'm saying now, it's a local chippy, this is. This isn't something that normally the tourists would even know about. So if you're a tourist, please come and uh, check this out. Well, I'll tell you whether to check it out or not in a bit. We'll go and try it. So I'm just turning here. And on the right hand side of me is the library. This Brevo Library and the chip is just here on the right hand side. It's called Grassmere. And we're in the Brevo area. So I could just park here, which is good. What I'll do is I'll just show you what it looks like from the outside and then we'll go and buy our, see if they do scallops, I hope they do scallops, I could be really fancy into a scallop today. Okay, let's go outside and have a look and we will then go and uh, do a food review on it. So here it is. That's the chippy there. And it's on the corner of Westmoreland Avenue. And down there is Central Drive. And this is Grasmere Road. So it's on the corner of Grasmere Road and Westmoreland Avenue, just off Central Drive. Okay, I'm gonna go inside and I'll show you what I bought once I come back out. Well guys, the good news is they do scallops, so I've got scallops and chips. So I have two scallops and a bag of chips. And that cost me £3.80. You can't go wrong for that. I love it in there. Look at the windows. Just look. That is real old school. When you go inside, the colour of the tiles are like uh, 1970s green type of colour. And it's like you're stepping back in time. Absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. And before you say, guys, yes, I know I need a shave. And no, I've not got my teeth sorted out yet. So what we'll do, is I will just drive over to the front, because it's always better to have them in the front, and we'll go and have my scallop and chips. I'll tell you what I thought about them. So, as I said, this is Grasmere Chippy on Grasmere, what was it called? Grasmere Avenue, just off Central Drive. And I'll see you in a bit while I'm scoffing down my chips. So, guys, let's see what my scallop and chips are like for less than four quid. So I'm just opening them all up now. Oh, let's just try and open it up. Oh God, how many, how many layers of paper has it got? Okay, we finally got through to it. And let's try the chips first. Mm, yeah. 
Perfectly nice chip. Absolutely bugger all wrong with them. There's your chip. Let's break it open like we normally do and have a look inside. Yep. Perfect. Mm. Just as it should be. So I'll show you the amount of I got for what did I say it was? Three pounds sixty, didn't I? Three pounds sixty or three pounds eighty. Well, there you go. Mmm. Chips are nice. Not a bad amount. For value for money, it seems pretty fair. If you're on the safe ones, you'd pay that just for the chips without the scallops. Mmm. Absolutely traditional fish and chips. Uh, I do like it in there because you can see it's been run by the same family. I'm not I'm sure, but it just looks like it's the type of family place. It's been run by the same family since the 1970s. It's still got the same old green uh, tiles in there. It's perfectly clean. It's not, you know, it's not dirty. It's absolutely clean. It's spotlessly clean. Nothing wrong with that. It's just... It's got the whole 1970s vibe about it. And I love that. That's proper traditional Blackpool fish and chips. Or scallop and chips in my uh, case. So, mm, they're nice. So, scallops, there's a breakdown. They're 80 pence each. And for those of you watching this for the first time, a scallop is a potato fritter. It's basically uh, a, a bit of potato sliced dipped in batter, and then fried. It's really that simple. Mm, right. Absolutely spot on. Can't knock that. Yep. Definitely worth the money. It's a bit hot. Oh, well, it's a little bit hot, but... Uh, they did put, they did cook the uh, the scallops from fresh. It didn't drop. It didn't appear to be that busy in there. There was one person ahead of me. There was nobody behind me, so it didn't appear to be that busy in there. Uh, but it, it has only just gone half past twelve, so I suppose it's quite early. Uh, I don't know what the opening hours are. I never looked so. Perfectly good. The chips are really nice, actually. Probably cup chips. And the uh, the guy in there was really friendly. Uh, he, was, he was chatting away, talking to me. You know, just you know, just genuinely talking about the uh, general crap I should do. But perfectly priced, nice guy. Makes you feel at ease. Not one of these standoffish people who don't talk to you. Uh, uh, seem to be too busy for you. Really nice guy. Uh, I assume he was the owner. He had some young lad working with him. I'm assuming that's his son. It definitely looked like the family type of business. It certainly had that type of vibe about it. So, anyway. Enough of me. Talking rubbish. Let's give me the numbers out of 10. What do I think it's out of 10? Friendliness. Bang on 10 out of 10. The guy was spot on. He was dead friendly. Value for money. I can't really knock it. I, you know, for, for what it cost. And for what I got. I can't knock it at all. I've got to give it a 10. It would be... I mean, rude not to. It would be rude not to. And for food quality and taste of food. Nice. It's nice. It's nothing special. Uh, but it's nice. It's nice. So I'll probably give that... A nice solid nine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's absolutely solid. So overall, I'll probably give it a 9.7, I reckon. Because it's absolutely spot on. I have tasted better chips in other places. But as a local chippy, for value for money, uh, for friendliness, for cleanliness, and everything that's important when you go to a chippy, yeah, I would definitely say you can't go wrong. 
Okay then, thanks a lot for watching and don't forget guys, if you like this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe. And we'll actually see if we can find some more places to do scallops, because not everywhere does scallops. And as you know, I'm far too poor to be able to afford fish, because fish is so expensive now. So expensive, unbelievably expensive fishes. Uh, so I'll stick to me scallops. I like me scallops. I'm a, I'm a common man. I come from a, ca a council estate and I've got to love scallops. Okay then, as I say, if you like this video, hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now.